so this video is going to be a little different than my other ones. Um, this is going to be a craft video and I'm going to show you how to make this cute little guy out of craft foam. You, as you can see, you can also uh, just uh, skip the hair part and just leave it that way and um, that he can actually, instead of a lion, you, you'll have a bear, a teddy bear, kind of. Or um, you can uh, actually like change the ears and the facial features and make them into a any other kind of animal that you need um, and also you can change the colors mm -hmm. as you can see this can be perfect for like a party favor or just to make it as a cute little gift for somebody get started. What you need is craft foam. Um, this one was actually white and I just painted it with craft paint because I don't have the color I'll be needing. Um, so I just used uh, some acrylic paint. And these uh, are actually easier uh, if you can find some like these because uh, you'll just put it on your foam and then press on it real hard so that you have the shape on your foam right there. Um, and this is to uh, make it easier for you to cut it out. If you have something else to make your um, circle shapes on your craft foam, then you can use that too. So you'll, you'll need one of the bigger size and then five of the smaller size one. Cut each piece out. Um, but you can use a regular iron. Um, and this is to heat up your pieces that you cut out. Oh, mine is kind of warm And now. then you just set it on there. And you can already see that it's starting to lift. And you just leave it there until you have the shape that you want. And this one's been sitting there for like 15, 20 seconds. So when it has that shape now, you can go ahead and just slide it off and be careful you don't, so you don't burn yourself. And then put the next piece there. And it's it'll start working, like heating it up so it turns out like this one did. And you'll just keep doing that for your shapes until you have all your shapes done. Okay, uh, for those of you that know how to do this, um, I forgot to mention that I'm doing it this way because I don't have the molds. Um, they have uh, some molds that you can use. Um, so that way you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. So um, this is why I'm doing it like this. Um, but what after you have all your shapes done, I have all my shapes here. Here's uh, the four uh, the four pieces you'll need for the feet. And then uh, one piece will actually be for the nose. It's gonna go on there like that. Um, so after you have all your shapes done, um, you'll take your bigger shape do that I'm only going to do it for the for the head so it'll be easier to put the hair on later um, so I'm gonna cut this out and then okay so I cut my little circle out um, and it's gonna go on here like this so for this step you'll need um, some pillow stuffing. Okay, you can also use uh, hot glue to glue this together. Plain needle and thread and then just uh, sew it together. And that's actually going to do. I'm... 
Okay, this is the nose and I just put a little bit, um, a little more of the stuffing in there. So, and then I just have some glue around it and I'm just gonna glue that onto the head. Okay, for this step you'll need uh, your hair that you're gonna put on the head. Um, and some hot glue well, Here I have my head that's finished with the hair already glued on it the way I want it and everything so I'm gonna set that aside and um, now I'm gonna start working on the body. Um, for this part, you need your piece of uh, fabric or tool, whatever you're using. Um, and this is what we're I'm gonna just do. using these little stones. And uh, my fabric, as you can see, is fraying off the edges right here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna run a lighter along the edges, not very close, but just close enough so the edge won't fray as much. Okay, so all I've done here is I took my wooden skewer or um, the chopstick you're using, whatever you're uh, using for the body to put it into the bag. Um, you just um, cut it to the size you need and then glue it on the back of the head and then put just uh, put your head through the little hole at the top of the little bag that you just made and that's how it's gonna look just uh, glue the little legs onto the bag where you want them to go and then we'll just start working on the details of the face. So here's our little guy all finished. Um, I just cut out some ears and then just glued them on the top of his head um, out of the pieces I had left from uh, what I used on here. So that's about it. I hope you like it and thank you for watching.